Now let's stay here because if there is one special group of Chinese, it is our farmers because they get more attention from artists than perhaps any other group in our society. Well, this answer may come as something of a surprise, but if you're a regular visitor at the National Museum, you'll find yourself face to face with a group of people you thought you'd never meet at an art gallery. Farmer, farmer. The simple title couldn't be more provocative. By saying the obvious, the exhibition skirts the impossible task of defining undefinable population. And it's left to the visitors to figure out the meaning behind the show. For many, the trip mingles museum going with their own very personal experience. The exhibition holds 260 pieces arranged in two parts works from the museum's collection and those from other sources. A large number was specially commissioned for the show. Each of the two categories is then subdivided into three themes. Portraits, the homeland, and social change. Portraits is equal to the cinematic close-up, focusing on the face. The homeland is a medium shot with farmers in familiar surroundings. And social change is a long shot, setting individuals against a vast backdrop. By taking steps back from the subject one at a time, both literally and metaphorically, the exhibition examines the farmers on many levels. Another line running across the show is time. Each section is chronologically arranged from the beginning of the last century. But the images undergo a series of changes that doesn't always reflect the real ones on the farm. For example, despite the hardships endured in the 1950s and 60s, this income paperwork by Qi Bai Shi shows an idyllic picture. This was actually in line with the literati's view of rural life. The countryside represented an escape free from worldly troubles. This romanticism and the glorification of farmers as high-spirited, iron-muscled society builders had much to do with the fact that the farmers themselves never picked up a brush, let alone delivered judgment on paintings of them. As a result, the art was more often a projection of social expectations rather than an account of what's real. But that was before the Chinese art world was shaken to the core by this landmark oil painting called Father. Done by Luo Zhongli in 1980, it ushered in a new era of realism. For the first time, farmer was no longer an oversimplified concept. Artists began to approach the subjects as individuals with their own stories to tell. And these stories have had a huge impact. What's underlying these works is a deep humanity. For the first time, artists actually listened to what their subjects had to say, and their stories were quite different from the ones previous painters had made up for them. From the 1980s onward, Chinese artists have been consciously telling their stories to the public. Even more significant than this newfound empathy was a willingness to identify with the subject. And the proof is in the faces with earnestness and indifference, determination and confusion, hope and frustration, longing and despair. And like any human face, a farmer's conceals as much as it reveals. <laughs>